look at this particular circuit, the question is current through 3 ohm is 0.5 that is one option, current through 3 ohm is 0.25 that is second option, 4 ohm is 0.5 and 4 ohm is 0.25 these are the four options given. Look at this dear students, I hope you can understand this, this three are in series, do you agree with me? The red come, current comes here, splits into two part, this current splits into two part, these three are in series, two plus four plus two. 8 ohm is in series, do you agree with me? 2 plus 4 plus 2, this series combination will give us 8 ohm, do you agree with me? This 8 ohm, this 8 ohm, right, I will just mark that this equivalent is 8 ohm. This 8 ohm is parallel with this 8 ohm. What is 8 parallel 8? Do you agree with me? This one, this is 8 parallel to this 8, 8 parallel 8 will definitely give us 4 ohm, this 4 ohm plus 2 plus 2 because here it is coming across 4 ohms, this 4 plus 2 plus 2 will give us 4 plus 2 plus 2 that will definitely give us 8 ohm, do you agree with me? This is 8 ohm, this 8 is in parallel with this 8 that will definitely give us 4 ohm. Are you following this, right? This 4 plus 3 plus 2 will give us 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2 will give us 9 ohm. So, 9 volt divided by 9 ohm means this is 1 ampere. I repeat, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. 9 ohm is the resistance, 9 volt is the voltage, 9 volt by 9 ohm will give us 1 ampere. You can observe carefully this 1 ampere, you can see here, this 1 ampere splits into 2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. What is the reason? This is 8 and this combination is giving us 8. Is that correct? This is 0.5, this is 0.5. This 0.5 splits into 2, 0.25 and 0.25. The same 0.25 flows through this, that is 4 ohm. Therefore, option D is correct. Got it dear students? It is a very simple logic. I repeat this once again. 2 plus 4 plus 2 will give us 8. This 8 is in parallel with this 8, giving us 8 parallel 8 is equal to 4. So, this can be replaced by 4. This 4 plus 2 plus 2 will give us 8. This 8 is in parallel with this 8, that will give us 4. That 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 will give us 9. 9 volt by 9, 9 ohm will give us 1 ampere. That 1 ampere splits into 0.5 and 0.5. This is 8 and this combination is giving us 8. This is 8 and this is this combination is 8. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This 0.5 splits into 2. The reason is once again this is 8 and this combination is giving us 8. So therefore, this is 0.25, this is 0.25. The reason is equal resistance, equal current. So therefore, the same current flows through 2 ohm, 4 ohm and 2 ohm. That means to say the current through 4 ohms is clearly 0.25 amperes. Therefore, option D is correct. I hope you have understood this. A housewife uses 100 watt bulb 8 hours a day, an electrical heater of 300 watt for 4 hours a day. Total cost for the June month at rupees 1 per unit is option A 20, option B 120, option C 30 and option D 60. Dear students, this is based on casting of electrical connection. Look at this question. 
Housewife uses 100 watt bulb 8 hours a day. That means to say, what is usage for bulb per day? Bulb, she is using 100 watt 8 hours means 800 watt per day. Correct? Do you agree with me? 800 watt per day. And what about the heater? For heater, she is using 4 hours a day, 300 watt. That means to say, 4 into 300, that is giving, that will give you 1200 watt per day. Do you agree with me? Now, what is total consumption? Total consumption is 2000, that is 2K per day. Do you agree with me? But the costing is, you can see, rupees 1 per unit. Always you should know this, it is measured in Ks, kilowatt, kilowatt. Therefore, 2K means 2 rupees per day. Therefore, the costing is, so costing is rupees 2 per day, rupees 2 per day. So, June month has got 30 days. Therefore, for the full June month, the total costing will come to 2 into 30 for month, for June month total casting is 2 into 30 that is 60 rupees. So, that is option D is correct. Got it dear students? It is a very very simple problem. Let us discuss next problem dear students. The problem is like this. A wire when connected across 220 volt mains has power dissipated P1. Now the wire is cut into two equal pieces which are connected in parallel to the same. Power dissipated in this case is P2. Then P2 is to P1 is option A 1, option B 2, option C 3 and option D is 4. Dear students, you can see here, assume that this is the wire. To this, I am supplying 220 volts AC. Now, what is power dissipated? Do you agree with me? Power dissipated is given by P is equal to V square by R. Do you agree with me? P is inversely proportional to resistance. So, now P1 is equal to 220 whole square by R1. Is that correct? Now, what I will do is, I will just cut this into two parts and I am connecting them in the parallel. So, I have cut this into two parts and I have connected them in the parallel. Right? Now, what is the equivalent resistance? Equivalent resistance across these is definitely given by, see here, this is R by 2 and this is R by 2. R by 2 parallel R by 2 will definitely give us R by 4. P2 is given by P2 is given by V square by R by 4. That is 4 times V square by R. What is V square by R? V square by R is equal to P1. Therefore, P2 is equal to 4 times P1. Or P2 by P1 is equal to 4. Therefore, option D is correct. Look at this dear students. Let me explain you mathematically. If you observe carefully, P1, P1 is given by P1 is given by, if you can say, 220 square, 220 square divided by R. Do you agree with me? So, new resistance, let me call it as R2, right? R2 is given by R by 2 parallel R by 2. R by 2 parallel R by 2 is equal to R by 4. P1 is 220 square by R. P2 is, P2 is once again 220 square divided by R 
by 4 means into 4. But actually what is 220 square by r? 220 square by r is given by p1. Therefore, p2 is equal to p1 times 4 or p2 by p1 is equal to 4. Option D is correct. See how simple the question is. students, what is the minimum capacity of a fuse? Generally, minimum capacity of a fuse is given by a simple formula W by V. W is the power consumed, V is the voltage supplied in mains. Remember this dear students, minimum capacity of the fuse is actually the minimum current drawing. But always you should remember this, the capacity of the fuse will be greater than the minimum value. Suppose if the minimum value of W by V is 10.5, usually we take 11 as the minimum fuse capacity. Usually it is measured in amperes, but even though we measure in amperes, we use it in the numbers only. Anyway, coming back to this, the question is like this. In a large building, there are 15 bulbs of 40 watt each, 5 bulbs of 100 watt each, 5 fans of 80 watt each, one heater of one kilowatt. The voltage of the electrical mains is 220 volts. The minimum capacity of the main fuse of the building will be. There are four options, 12 amperes, 14 amperes, 8 amperes and 10 amperes. we have to do here dear students? The logic is very simple. First find out total power consumed and you have voltage at the mains that is 220 volts. Total power consumed divided by voltage will give you a value and your fuse capacity should be either slightly greater or equal to that particular value. Got it? Now let us discuss the question. So in a large building there are 15 bulbs of 40 watts. So let us write here items. What all we have? First one is 15 bulbs of 40 watt each. See, I will mention 40 watt bulb. Okay, 40 watt bulb. How many numbers are there? How many are there? So there are 15. So now, what is power consumed? See here, dear students. 40 watt, 15 bulbs, 15 fours are 60 into 10, that is 600 watt is the power consumed. So this is power consumed by 40 watt bulbs, which are 15 in number, or 15 bulbs will consume 600 watts of power. The first one is over, 40 watt bulb, then 5 bulbs of 100 watt each, 5 bulb of 100 watt each. So now what happens? 5 into 100, 500 is the wattage here. Understanding this? Next one. There are 5 fans of 80 wattage. See 5 fans of 80 wattage. 80 watt fans. So what you will get? 5 into 80, 400 watt. Next. And then what else we have? one heater of one kilowatt that is 1000 watt one kilo means 1000 heater heater i have just mentioned he and how many numbers we have we have one so what is the total voltage voltage that is 1000 watt now we have 600 plus 400 plus 500 plus 1000 1000 plus 1000 2000 plus 500 2500 therefore Power P is given by sum of all these that is 2500 watt. Do you agree with me? Then what is voltage V? 
voltage V of the main source is 220. Is that correct? Now, P by V is equal to 220 by 2500 by 220, 0, 0 cancels, 250 divided by 22. It is slightly greater than 10. Do you agree with me? So, that means to say this, this P by V, this will give you the capacity of the fuse. So, you can say fuse capacity must be slightly greater than 10. Just search for the answer which is slightly greater than 10 among the four. Definitely option C and option D are ruled out. Only option A should be correct or B should be correct out of which we are taking 12 ampere fuse. See because this is nearest to 10. If this option is not given, we would have tried for 14 amps fuse. So, fuse capacity must be greater than 10. Either I can take a 12 ampere fuse or 14 ampere fuse, even 20 ampere fuse. fuse. But it is always advisable to take the nearest value. So, the best option for this is 12 ampere fuse. Got it dear students? Mm -hmm.